A warm welcome to everyone. You're watching a short analysis of skeletons fighting over a hanged man. A painting by the Belgian painter James Enser. Skeletons fighting over a hanged man was painted in 1891. The image depicts two skeletons figures in grotesque masks consisting of skulls and fancy hats with other props such as a broom, an umbrella or a stick. On both sides, there are onlookers and various masks watching, the spectacle taking center stage. A hanged man is placed right at the center of the painting wearing a mask, with a sign on his chest. Right below the hanged man, there is another skeleton figure dressed up in a carnival costume and mask laying down. Two fighting skeletons indicate movement, but onlookers add to the impression that this image is frozen in a moment in time. Although Enser uses bright colors such as red to complement green, blue or shades of browns mixed with white, the theme isn't so bright. The image invokes tragic comedy, leaving us puzzled at human intentions and behavior. Enser worked well with a central composition which proves him as a master. His image isn't boring, quite the opposite. The viewers are left to wonder about the underlying plot of the image while examining all the exotic features of the dressed skeleton. Who was the hanged man to those two skeleton women that his dead body is worthy fighting for? Was he an ex-lover, friend? Was it just a play on the stage? Or the reason should remain a mystery? One way or another, Ensa got our interest on many levels. This might be the theme. Exquisite quality in terms of painting with just the right color range and blending or central composition which was in fact avoided by some other artists in order for the image to be more dynamic. Ensa's paintings are dynamic even with central composition. One of the most interesting features of this painting is that Ensa may have watched the spectacle he invented and created and he might have been puzzled as well. All the props and masks may be a regular stock in his mother's gift shop for Ostend's annual carnival. Carnival goers would have a chance to buy from the range of mischievous products. Ensa used and depicted carnival objects in his images so they resemble exactly the ones actually sold. Therefore, themes such as puppetry, skeletons, carnivals, masks were common in Ensa's work. He was drawn by masks, bright colors plastic material and potential mystery created by distorted proportions. Enser even dressed skeletons up in his studio in order to create imaginary scenes, which was probably the case for this painting. I hope you've enjoyed learning something new about this painting by a less known artist. Thanks for watching.